Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your trainer for this Azure Administrator Associate AZ104 Examination Preparation Course. We are going through Module 4, which is all about virtual networking. And in this video, we're going to talk about IP addressing. So let's see what we are going to learn in this video. We're going to talk about IP addressing in Azure, how to create an IP addresses. What's the main difference between public and private IP address? So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. You can assign IP addresses to Azure resources to communicate with other resources, your on-premises network, and the internet. There are two types of IP address, private IP address and public IP address. Virtual networks can contain both public and private IP address space. So what is private IP address? Private IP addresses are used for communication within your Azure virtual network. And public IP address is used for communication with internet. Another key concept you need to understand is static and dynamic IP addressing. To know more about that, I'm going to take you to my Azure portal. So within the Azure portal, I'm going to go to the virtual machine. I have few virtual machines here. I'm going to select the smart hotel host virtual machine. On the left hand side, under settings, you can find there is networking. If you look at it, my virtual machine is connected to a network interface. I can select that network interface. And I can go inside the settings of that. Under settings, you can find IP configurations. And there you go. So you can see that my IP address is 10.0.0.4 and it is dynamically configured. So these IP addresses can also be statically assigned or dynamically assigned. Static IP address do not change and are best for certain situations. So let me explain few situations where static IP is the best. The first one is DNS name resolution, where a change in the IP address would require updating host records. Second scenario is IP addresses based on security models, which require apps or services to have a static IP address. The third scenario is SSL certificates linked to IP addresses. Another scenario is firewall rules that allow or deny traffic using IP address range. As a best practice, you may decide to separate dynamically and statically assigned IP resources into different subnets and IP addresses are never managed from or within the virtual machine. So let's understand how to create a public IP address. So I'm going to take you to the Azure portal to show you how to create a public IP address. On the global search box, search for IP address and select public IP address. As you can see that I already have two public IP addresses. I'm going to create a new public IP address. So you need to decide, is it IPv4 or v6 or both? Selecting both will result in two public IP address, creating one IPv4 and one IPv6 address. The second thing is SKU. There are two SKUs available, basic and standard. You cannot change the SKU after the public IP address is created. A standalone virtual machine with an availability set or virtual machine scale set can use basic or standard SKUs. Mixing SKUs between virtual machine with an availability set or scale set or standalone VMs is not allowed. Then there is name. The name must be unique within the resource group you select. The next option is either is the IP address dynamic or static. Dynamic addresses are assigned only after the public IP address is associated to an Azure resource and the resource is started for the first time. 
dynamic address can change if they are assigned to a resource such as virtual machine and the virtual machine is stopped and then restarted. The address remains the same if a virtual machine is rebooted or stopped but not deallocated. Dynamic addresses are released when a public IP address resource is disassociated from a resource it is associated to. So what is static? A static address are assigned when a public IP address is created. Static address are not released until the public IP address resource is deleted. If the address is not associated to a resource, you can change the assignment method after the address is created. If the address is associated to a resource, you may not be able to change the assignment method. If you select IPv6 for the IP version, the assignment method must be dynamic for basic SKU. The standard SKU addresses are static for both v4 and IPv6. Then there is idle timeout in minutes. DNS name you can prefer. I always prefer to choose a DNS name for the IP address. And then the subscription name and where you want to place this IP address to and what location you want to create this. And once you have all this information populated, you can hit on create. A public IP address resource can be associated with virtual machine network interface, internet facing load balancers, VPN gateways and application gateways. You can see the difference here. Can you assign it to a dynamic or a static as well? As you notice, for VPN gateway and application gateway, static IP address are available only on certain SKUs. A private IP address resource can be associated with virtual machine network interface, internal load balancers, and application gateways. Azure can provide an IP address dynamic assignment or you can assign the IP address as static assignment as well. A private IP address is allocated from the address range of the virtual network subnet on a resource which is deployed in, which can contain both dynamic and static as well. Now that we have learned about public IP, private IP, what's the difference between static and dynamic ranges? In the next lesson, we're going to learn about network security group. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.